Hi everyone, welcome back to our short video series on electrical safety testing topics. My name is Bisham Patel and in today's two-part video, I'll be talking about a type of leakage current test called touch current. In the first part of the video, I'll be talking about the definition and theory behind touch current testing. In the second part of the video, we'll be in our lab performing touch current testing on a class 1 medical device. According to IC 60601-1 standard, touch current is defined as current that flows from an enclosure of an electrical device to earth via external path. Current can also flow from an enclosure point to another enclosure point. Touch current is designed to merge the current that a human body would be exposed to in the event of fault occurring within an electrical device. In order to measure touch current, the measuring device labeled MD in this image needs to be in a proper position. As seen in this image, we could see the MD makes contact with an enclosure point while standing on earth ground. The current is going to be generated at the enclosure point, travel through the measuring device to earth. Another way to look at a touch current point is between two enclosure points. In this case, the MD is placed between two enclosure points. Current is going to be generated at one enclosure point, returns back from another enclosure point. Now let's review figure 14 from the IEC 60601 standard. This image represents the circuit model for measuring touch current. On one side of the MD, it comes in contact with an enclosure point. Another side of the MD comes in contact with the low side or reference earth. We could also see another MD placed between two enclosure points. We have switches S1, open neutral, S5, reverse polarity, and S7, open ground. These switches are used to simulate fault condition within the device. In our second part of the video, we'll be using S7 switch to simulate an open ground and closed ground situation within the medical device. Next, we're going to be in our lab performing a touch current test on a class 1 medical device. Welcome to part 2 of our touch current testing video. I'm going to be performing a touch current test on a class 1 medical device. I'm using an aluminum foil to provide a conductive contact point for this device. The standard also recommends moving the aluminum foil around to find the highest leakage current. Let's take a look at all the test steps that we have set up here. For step one and two, we're gonna be performing leakage current from this point to earth ground. Step three and four, we're gonna be performing leakage current between two points, point one here, enclosure point one, and enclosure point two. Now let's verify the MD is in the correct spot. We wanna make sure the measuring device goes between probe high and line. In order to provide touch current, the setting has to be between probe high and line. This provides the MD a contact point with probe high. Another side of the MD is connected to the low side of the transform. For step three and four, we'll be connecting probe high to probe low. This is the point to point enclosure leakage. In this case, probe high is connected to enclosure point one, probe low is connected to enclosure point two. The measuring device falls between these two points. Next, we wanna make sure we induce one fault condition. In order to induce a fault condition for open ground, we want to select open on the ground, ground relay. For a single fault condition, the standards allows up to 500 microamps of leakage current. So we want to make sure we enter 500 microamps for the leak high limit. Under a normal condition, this limit should be set to 100 microamps. Now let's take a look at all the required test connection for this touch current test. First, we want to make sure the device under test powers up. We want to connect this to an adapter box. This will provide line neutral to the device under test. Next, we want to make sure the probe high is connected to a enclosure point one. And then we want to make sure probe low is connected to an enclosure point two. Next, we'll be running the test on this device for touch current for probe high to line and then probe high to probe low. Let's take a look at the results of this test. For step one, we had normal condition, no fault conditions were occurring. The probe conditions were probe high to probe low. The resulting leakage current was 0.4 microamps. For test two, we created a single fault condition of open ground. The leakage current measure here was 2.6 microamps. This is well below the 500 microamps high limit that's required in the standard. Step three, this was between probe high and probe low. The leakage current when the unit was grounded was 0.1 microamps. When we induced a single fault condition of open ground, 
the leakage between probe high and probe low was 1.1 microamp. Thank you everyone for watching this video. Stay tuned for our future videos on electrical safety testing topics.